What's good, y'all? Today I'm going to show you how to play The Border by Willie Nelson, R.I.P. Uncle Jody. Chord you're going to need for this is an A minor chord, a three finger G chord, an F bar chord if you can, a little one if you can't, C, and an E minor. All right. Um, it's a pretty simple song. I'm going to split it into three sections. Your intro and verse, chorus, and then bridge. Um, so this is your intro right here. It starts on an A minor chord. Alright, I kind of messed up there at the end, so let me do it one more time for you. So that was your intro. So what you're going to do, you're going to, it starts on an A minor, you're going to hit the open fifth string, and then you're going to do a down up, but when you do your down, kind of press on the strings a little bit, kind of like, like, don't worry about it with the up strum, but on the down strum, kind of like press on the strings a little bit, like. And then you're going to hit either the 6th string or 4th string and do the same thing, alright? The 4th string sounds better, in my opinion, on this song, alright? So it's either going to be or So um, that's your intro. You're going to do it four times, and the last time you're just going to hit the open fifth string and then mute it, like right before the um, verse starts. All right, so your intro is this, A minor. All right, and then when the verse starts, you're going to stay on this A minor for a four count. One, two, three, four, before you go to a G for two, six, sorry, on this G chord, you're going to go six, down, up, four, dang it. All right, don't worry, I'm going to do it all together. And then you're going to go back to A minor for two. And then you're going to do that, what I just showed you after the intro, one more time before your chorus. A for four. Uh, G for two. Dang it, I keep messing up. And then A for two. All right, and that's going to be your intro and verse or first section. All right, so um, I'm going to do it in time, but I already showed you how to strum it. So let me show you this first, the verses. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Verse 1. A minor. G. A minor. So actually, you're going to do that little progression three times before your chorus, but you know how to do it. Let me just finish it up into the chorus. All right, 
that's what you wore time. Anyway, so um, I already showed you how to strum it, but you're going to do this progression right here that, I'm, that I've already showed you about 50 times. Um, I'm going to show it to you one more time. So you're going to do this four times before your chorus, all right? A minor for four. Alright, if y'all if I mess y'all up or lost you, let me know in the comments. But that's your uh, first section, your intro and verses. Um, so let me go ahead and tell you one more thing. So after your chorus, you're gonna do um, you're gonna do this before your next verse starts on the A minor. Dang it! All right, so you're gonna do that before your next. You'll see what I'm talking about when you're playing with it. But you're gonna do that before your next verse. And all the verses are the same. All right, so now your chorus is going to start on an F. Um, let me do it in time, and then I'll show you how to do it. All right, here we go. F C F G A minor Alright, then your next verse right here idea so um your chorus let me go ahead and tell you the strumming pattern so your chorus starts on an f and if you do the bar chord you're gonna go six down up five down up all right like all right and then you're gonna go to a c um and you have two options here. You can either put your pinky on the six string third fret and go five down up six. All right, or you can just do the four string, like five down up four. All right, and then it's, you're gonna go to a G and it, you already know it. Just like the verses, but your chorus starts on an F. Let me do it with it till I'm in time and then I'll show you the bridge. All right, here we go. Chorus. F. C. F. G. A minor. All right, so um, actually, um, I don't think you're going to mute that fifth string right there. So before your next verse starts, after the end of, at the end of the chorus on that A minor, you're going to do this. All right, you don't have to mute that open fifth string. And then you're going to go straight into your next verse, and it's just like the other ones. The only other, th other thing you need to know is the bridge, and it's going to start, I think, on an E minor.
All right. So af after your second chorus, um, you almost know how to play the whole song. After your second chorus, there's going to be a bridge. Um, so you're going to be on an A minor, just like the end of the other chorus. Not bad. Then, when um, the bridge starts, you're going to go to an E minor with an up strum. Alright, then you're going to go to A minor, and you're just going to strum it the same as you have been. Alright, then up strum. Every time you go to the E minor, it's going to be an up strum. Alright, then A minor. Alright, A minor. F is going to be the ending of the bridge. And you're just going to do this for four measures. Alright, then you're going to go to A minor. Go into another verse. Alright, I think. I'll make sure. But um, so now that I showed you the strong how to strum it, let me um do this bridge with it and that'll be it. All right, so here's your bridge after the second chorus. up a little bit but let me show you one more thing real quick before I get off of here on that E minor after you do that up strong just go like down down up and then go to A minor all right then A minor A minor I keep messed. I messed up on this F earlier. That's where I messed up at. But on the F, you're gonna do this, like you were earlier. All right. I just wanted to show y'all that. But you know how to play the whole song now. After the bridge, you're gonna go back to A minor and start over. Dang it. You know what I mean? That is on what's the border. If y'all have any questions, let me know. Till next time, go